Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we are going to test out the gaming performance of the new U Unicorn. So the U Unicorn is the latest device from Utility Ventures which comes with a 5.5 inch full HD display. It's powered by the MediaTek Helios P10 Octa-Core chipset and it's coupled with a 4GB RAM and 32GB internal storage. So we'll see how far the device performs in terms of the gaming experience. So we'll play four games, Asphalt 8 Airborne, Dead Trigger 2, Modern Combat 5 and Nova 3. So these four games uh, will be played on this device and uh, let's see how far the device plays up and uh, whether there is any heating issue on this device. So let's start off with Asphalt 8 Airborne. So now we are done with asphalt 8 airborne. Let's see the temperature. So the temperature increase is negligible. Uh, it's just 36 degrees, not much of heating after playing asphalt 8 airborne. Let's see the display. And uh, here also it's not uh, pretty high. It's just uh, 36 degrees. That's a pretty nominal increase after asphalt 8 airborne. Now let's go to the next game. So we are now done with the gaming test on uh, the U Unicorn. Let's see the final temperature. So almost uh, half an hour of gaming and uh, it's just 38, 39 degrees. So not much of heating uh, on this device. So the maximum is uh, 38.5. 
and on the display let's see the display it goes up to 41 almost close to 41 degrees 41 degrees uh, is the temperature we are getting and uh, towards the display it's it's close to 42 now so maximum temperature is 42 degrees on the display while on the rear panel it's um, 38 39 degrees so not much of heating but it does get warm slightly after indians gaming it does get warm uh, but uh, not uh, too much of he overheating on this device now talking about the gaming experience that's where the U unicorn disappoints almost all of the games had frame skips and uh, asphalt 8 airborne was pretty much laggy not uh, not uh, really playable uh, dead trigger 2 performed quite uh, decently but again modern combat and uh, Nova 3 played with a lot of lags and frame skips so ideally this uh, helio p10 octaco chipset didn't perform uh, well uh, even with a 4 gigabyte ram that's quite uh, uh, disappointing aspect about this device so uh, this device comes with the p10 octaco chipset the same one uh, which powers the mizu m3 node and even on mizu m3 node we mentioned that the gaming experience is pretty poor the same happens with the u unicorn as well the gaming experience was laggy a uh, lot of frame skips not the best experience if you're looking for great uh, gaming experience the best device in this price point is uh, probably the xiaomi redmi note 3 or even the lenovo zuk z1 even the moto g4 plus has a uh, quite good gaming experience except for the heating issue so all these devices are much better in terms of the gaming experience than the u unicorn and uh, the even with 4 gigabyte ram the u unicorn disappoints in the gaming department so that's all guys uh, with the gaming test on the u unicorn hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day.